is really spicy. Look at that. <laughs> While Los Angeles has the first and largest Thai town in the US, New York City has a growing Thai community. So in the last decade or so, Elmhurst, Queens has become New York City's Thai town. Now, you get a lot of different regional Thai cuisine. I'm gonna take you on a massive food tour here in the Thai town of Elmhurst. We're gonna this over a few days because we got a lot of spots to show you. We're two major areas. We're gonna start here on Woodside Avenue. Day like today, can't do any better than noodle soup. Yes. Might get a drink there too. To warm up. It's a cool place. These interiors are. So I'm in their bathroom right now. The loose bathroom ever. Boat noodle, which has uh, pork blood, vinegar, sliced pork, pork liver, and the rice noodles. We got fish ball too. Oh man, it smells so good. Take a big bite with the broth. Really taste that pork blood, it's so good. It's not overwhelming, it's just, just enough in there. It's got a nice kick, and it got a tanginess from that vinegar. Oh, it's so good. Now we got the tom yum as well. So the tom yum's got minced pork, it's got sliced pork, it's got a big piece of pork liver, we got the fish bowl, we got the noodles, we got the cilantro, sorry Jumi, and we got the peanuts. Let's go. Mm. It's a nice spicy kick, I love the minced pork. I love the peanuts too, gives it a crunchy texture. We also have the little spice caddy here too, you can make it spicier, so I'm gonna add some chili flakes. There's also fish sauce, there's vinegar, there's sugar, you can doctor up however you like. There's so much flavor in this broth. Some of the best, and this is a weekend only, it's five bucks a bowl. You can't go wrong here. You can get your drinks here, you can have a beer with it too. Why not? Next restaurant that we're heading to specializes in Isan cuisine. Isan is the largest region of Thailand. It's on the northeast side. It borders Laos, so there's some similarities to Lao cuisine here. The use of herbs, there's a lot of funk here. You're not gonna really see as much curries. It's a very unique and delicious, spicy cuisine. Awesome combo here. So you can get a combo that comes with the main dish, comes with a papaya salad, and another side. So you get three dishes. We had to go with the papaya salad if you get it now. So that's the uh, som tum plata. So the plata is like a fermented fish paste. Also, what Lao cuisine is called padek. You can smell the funk. This is more of the salty type compared to the sweet. So let's try some. Mm. So if you're used to more of the limey, sweeter type of papaya salads, this is definitely not that. Totally opposite. You get that funky fermented fish, you get it salty. You get the long beans, you have the Thai eggplant. It's nice, not too sweet, so it really takes in that fish flavor. Good stuff. All right, so we got this famous grilled chicken. It's called Gayang, so it's popular in the Isan region. It's grilled Thai meat. You have the crispy skin on the top, like fried garlic. Mm. That chicken's so well marinated and juicy, and you got that crispy skin, which really takes it to the next level. We also have the gel sauce on the side. Let's put a little that on top. The gel sauce gives it a little spiciness, a little tangy, a little uh, funk from the fish sauce. There's a little toasted rice powder. So this is really a flavor bomb with all the herbs and spices. You know, it sounds very simple, it's a grilled chicken, but it's much more than that. Awesome. So arguably the most important part of the meal of all is the sticky rice. It comes here in the bamboo container. We've seen this from our friend who makes Lao food. And uh, you gotta have just grab a piece with your hand. This is probably what we we're most excited about is the dill soup. We love dill, and dill, we've had a lot in Lao cuisine and others, so when we see it on the menu here, we knew we had to order it. So it comes in a lot of different veggies. It's a dark, thicker broth. We actually chose chicken feet, which goes well with it. You also have the Thai eggplant, two different types of mushrooms, pumpkin in here too. Let's take a sip of the broth. Wow. Very intense flavor. It's kind of a thicker broth, it's darker. Mm, so much going on in here. And then you get those big, generous heaps of dill. That's, we just eat dill all day long. Let's take a big bite of that. That dill is just so refreshing, oh my God. Dill is one of those refreshing flavors you can never taste. 
<laughs> this chicken feet's been soaking in this broth to make it even more tender than it already was when it arrived. So let's take a little bite of that. It is so tender, you get all that cartilage. It was with the pork ribs, we wanted to go with the chicken feet. We don't always eat it, but it's delicious what we do. And it works really well with the soup. here in a place that used to be a supermarket, now turned into a food court. Our favorite stall in Hong Kong food court, it's called King Kao. Here you can get three different dishes over rice for 10 bucks, and they don't skimp on the portions either. Just look at that. That is just so much food on here. The three dishes, so we got Penang curry with pork, southern yellow pork rib curry, another southern Thai dish, dry yellow curry with minced pork and sator bean, aka stink bean, aka pad thai. There's so many different names for it, but it's delicious. We got the Thai tea especially because we heard some of these dishes were going to be spicy, and they look spicy, so you always need a nice creamy cool drink to go with it. We're going to start with the spiciest. I'm going to start with this pork rib curry. It's very tender. You can taste that coconut milk. The yellow is probably from some turmeric. and. Um, Definitely taste the lime leaves in here. Very fragrant dish. And you also have the bamboo shoots to go with it as well. Adds a little tanginess to it and a little crunch. Really nice dish here. Not one you can easily find in New York. That minced pork right here, that look at that. That is really spicy. I just had a bite of that and wow, it's funky and spicy, which is really good. All right, let's do it. So I got it all together here. Got it with that stink bean. You gave the sator. Let's take a bite. That is really, really good. This explosion of flavors in that first bite. The lime leaves really come out, the chili, oh, the curry paste. I love this, and I love this a dry dish. I'm just packing so much flavor in there with the minced pork, and that sator bean as a little funky. I love that flavor of sator bean. We love sator beans. Mm. So our third and final dish on this plate is the Penang curry with pork. So Penang curry is one of our favorite Thai dishes around. Whenever we see it, we usually order it, so we're happy to have it at the steam table today. So this one comes with the pork. That is really good. Yeah, and it's, it's gonna coat that rice so perfectly. So that's that's the rice you're gonna wanna eat out of this plate is the one that's covered in this coconut milk curry. So let's take a bite, see how it stacks up. Mmm. Love this stall, they use a lot of lime leaves. We're huge fans of lime leaves, and it comes out in this Penang curry. All good Penang curry we've had in New York always has a good amount of lime leaves, and this one does not disappoint. Slight spice, not too much very manageable and that coconut milk balances out well it's not too saucy and the pork itself is tender it's well cooked awesome of being in a place like this, like a Thai town, is that you have restaurants that specialize just in one thing. It's like you're in a street stall in Bangkok. And uh, we had an amazing time. We went to Thailand, been a couple times. Can't wait to go back. Love the food. Staff meal, staff meal. It smells so good. I love here. It's more of all their space. It's really tastefully designed. I like it. They always look pretty unique. So here we got the stewed pork leg over noodles. The reason we got it over noodles instead of rice because that sauce is gonna seep right into those noodles. And it's got this nice skin on it. You can smell the flavors. You can smell that star anise come out. And it also comes with a side of leafy Chinese broccoli. And you also have a hot sauce here. We're gonna see what the hot sauce tastes like. And their crispy pork here is so good that we had to get a side order of it. Why not? I love the flavors in this uh, stewed pork leg. You got that five spice and the star anise. It's really juicy, really tender meat to go with it. And we have this garlic hot sauce on the side as well. A little tangy, a little vinegary to go with it to add a little kick. Awesome plate right here. Food Thai food that we went to that specialized in pork. It's the same owners, but here they specialize in just one dish. That dish, kamangai. This. One dish only restaurant was written by New York Times. Let's 
go. Eat more. So we got the only thing you can get. The only difference is here, they uh, ask you what size. We just got smaller size, we do a lot of eating. So it's the common guy, so it's all cow is rice, guy is chicken. So it's poached chicken, and the rice especially, it's got the chicken fat, and it's got extra flavor, we're gonna dig into that. And we got on the side, they always give you some liver and gizzard, but we actually ask her extra liver. She's me the liver lover, I enjoy it too. So let's dig in. You should've tried the rice first. The rice smells so gingery. Mmm, this is awesome. If you love the flavor of ginger, this rice is for you. I certainly do. And I'm gonna go with the chicken. Before we add sauce, we take the chicken just by itself. Mm, very simple, it's tender, it's the poached chicken. It's really nice, it's got a nice flavor. It keeps some of the skin on it, but really the star of the show is that rice. That ginger rice is amazing. Mm. A little that creamy liver, let's go. Two, three, four, five. There's five Thai restaurants and this one block stretch here on Broadway between Britain Avenue and Pettit Avenue. That's incredible. I don't know if that's even the case of anywhere else in New York besides the other side of the Thai town here in Elmhurst. But wow, this is the place to be for Thai food in New York City. Family, mom, feed your kids. <laughs> It's good? Oh my god, it's so good. You can feed him, you can feed him too. <laughs> I don't want people, some people expect the food is very fast. I cook because they don't have a gas. Yeah. yeah. I cook because I, I can cook inside, but it's like a real cook, but it's, the food is different here. Yeah? You understand, right? Like you cook in two, three minutes. Microwave, that's it. No, but the taste is so different. Oh, yeah, very different. Yeah. There's no long.